Project Rail Yard. It is a collaboration of community organizations creating the awareness on modern human trafficking. And joining us now with more on an upcoming fundraiser is Gwen Shavers from the Braceville Community Foundation. Miss Gwen, good morning to you. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about this organization and why is Project Rail Yard so important? Well, because Ohio is sixth in the nation in human trafficking. And so Project Rail Yard is like a launch of an awareness of the program of, of human trafficking. And so if we as a community would all join together in our schools, our nonprofits, our organizations, just as individuals, we may be able to help prevent some of this that's going on and provide a greater safety net for the children in our communities. So what does Project Rail uh, Yard actually do and what can we do to help stop and make people more aware of human trafficking? Well Project Rail Yard is actually just a launch of awareness and so um, the Ohio Task Force has uh, if, if you go to their website, you'll see lots of information about that. And uh, I'm really just learning about it myself. And so, um, but on the website, it's called the Blue Campaign. It'll give you lots of ideas, lots of information. They have presenters that they will have come to, you can bring them to your area for whatever presentation. Um, and they have lots of information, so we can at least all be a little bit more aware of it. Yeah, and with you learning about this recently, tell us what was most alarming to you when learning about human trafficking? I feel like sometimes stuff like this, it happens right under our nose and we don't know what's going on, but there's things that we can actually look out for to be more aware, right? Yes, um, far as what, how it affects all of us, mm -hmm. we would hate to think of our children, grandchildren, anyone in our neighborhood uh, being involved in something like this. So it's very devastating to a community. And then you have all that talent that possibly could be lost. So um, anything that would just bring the awareness of it is very important. And we're going to have a conversation this month. Project Rail Yard presents conversations that ignite change. Tell us the date, time for that. How do we get tickets where we can learn more? And tell us a little bit about Daryl Davis. Okay, Daryl Davis is an amazing human being. And um, first of all, this event is going to be Sunday, September 24th at the Eastwood Event Center, which is a beautiful, lovely center. Um, and it actually starts at three o'clock, unless you're part of the Velvet Rope, which is at 3.30. It actually starts at 5 o'clock, I'm sorry. But Daryl Davis is a man, he was playing the piano one day, and a man came and said, where'd you learn how to play, Jerry Lee Lewis? And he said, no, Jerry Lee Lewis probably learned how to play from someone I knew. Mm -hmm. And so because of their conversation, they became friendly, and um, here this man was a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Mm. And so Daryl Davis always had the desire to know how can you hate me and you don't know me. And so that was one of his uh, goals to find that out. But in the process, he's become friends with many Klan's members and some have renounced the Klan and uh, it's caused a change. So anything that causes a cultural change and causes us to see each other yeah. humanly is good. Wow, that's huge. Thank you for joining us this morning. And we're going to throw that graphic up one more time. If you want tickets, you could check out the website. That is September 24th at the Eastwood Event Center, projectbrailyard.ubpages.com. Thanks again, Ms. Gwen. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Andrew DePaulo for a check of our forecast. Thank you.